Hi, this is a quick tutorial on a regex debugger. It's by Damien Conway. It's a little software project that lets you visually debug your regular expressions if you use them in Perl. And I, I've heard about it for a while and didn't really have a reason to use it until recently. I was working on a, on a little software project on my free time here. And the course of software project, I was building about 20 different regular expressions and about uh, 21, 22, my brain started melting and say, hey, uh, instead of just figuring out what's wrong with this regular expression, I think I'm going to use regex debugger. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that this uh, regex debugger is in installed. You can see here, we, that is the name of the module. And if it runs, it is installed. Second, the, the first thing I tried was this RxRx, which is um, pretty much just runs the module. And we get this. And it's pretty easy. I mean, you put in a string. In this case, the string is the one I'm debugging. Oh, this one. Put this in. Hey, it worked. <laughs> and put in uh, this one. This is going to be wrong. You can see it didn't work because it had the M. Take the M out and it'll work. And then you, uh, I think it's enter or space or something. No, it's M for match. Now it's starting and you see it goes through. And if you look at the bottom by the dot, that's where that, that bottom arrow, that's where it's currently matching in this search string. And what I did wrong was, uh, just keep on going, is it wasn't matching a period. It was matching a space, but not the period. Uh, I hit spacebar too many times. Oops. Oh, wait, it's just keep on. Okay. If I want to back up, I can hit negative, but it's already started. You just hit M again. Forward, back with the, the minus key. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, fix the regular expression. And that will match the period, the period character as well. And well, I'd have to type it in this, but there's another way to uh, cue to quit. There's another way to uh, check it as well. First thing I tried was um, looking at the, the pod page. You can see how to use it. Um, basically, use regex debugger. When you load this module, any regex in the same lexical scope will be debugged. So, of course, this is in scope, and then I limit the scope, and I type in use regex debugger, and I can run it. And you see that it actually didn't work because my program isn't set up. I'd have to make more changes, so I'll just delete it, see what happens. And you see that uh, it starts debugging automatically, which is really nice. And I hit uh, C to continue, and goes through minus A. And it, actually match this time so it's actually working and 
It's supposed to... There's another regex in scope, so it should have uh, debugged that one as well. With the second regex. Oh, it's, I must have typed it in wrong. Oops. Yes, I did type it in wrong. Uh, that's the first regex, and that's the second regex. And then if I want to see, it has to debug both regexes because they're both in scope. But anyway, uh, that's how to use it, and have a great day.